Ciao. Hello. How you doing, man? Sergio, como estás? Thank you for having me. No, no. Gracias a ti. Gracias a ti. And I suppose that you're like a very excited because the movie, I, The Iron Claw, is coming tomorrow to tears. And then, uh, I mean, I know that you, you you play a character there, but your main your main war there was just like uh, choreographing, choreographing, and coordinating all the like the the, the wrestling scenes. And right. you you you've been doing that for for a few years already, but uh, this takes you to to a different level, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, so that's you know talking with Sean Durkin, the director, and he brought me on as the wrestling choreographer, wrestling coordinator, but also it's like kind of wrestling consultant. So anything to do with wrestling on the movie, whether it be you know sometimes with set design or wardrobe or scripts, that's kind of was every I was had my hands kind of on everything, and that's uh, was my main thing. And we you know I played a little bit of a, a role in in the movie as well, uh, but uh, really was. Just making sure that the the wrestling, the wrestling terminology, everything was as authentic as as authentic as possible. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna talk, of course, about like the the the, the wrestling, like uh, preparation and everything. But just about about the role you play, you have like a you have like it's kind of a cameo, right? But you portray a guy who was like a, a real guy, and actually it's interesting right. because the guy that the shake, right, the shake Farhat. I was yes. reading that he he was like a, he 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 used he practiced like a move. That was kind of created by your grandfather, so uh, right. it's like a little tribute there too, right? To 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 your grandfather. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So this was the original sheet, the original sheet Ed Farat, not to be confused with the Iron Sheet, but but the original sheet. He was um, God, he was such a, a, a like a pioneer of wrestling because he. What we do in wrestling is, as we do in films, is we tell stories. We may use the moves to tell those stories, but that's what those moves are for. The, the moves themselves are not the story. Just like if you're, you know, in, in a movie with car crashes, explosions, those explosions help tell the story, but they're not the story themselves. So Ed Farad, the original Sheik, was really, really great in using these moves and these tactics to tell this story of him being almost like a... God, he was like a, like a, like a monster in a sense. He was like a, like a Jason from Friday the Thirteenth, or he was just like this maniacal character that every time you saw him, like they loved him in Japan because, God, he would you know bite and and claw when people weren't mm -hmm. doing they were wrestling and he would change the way kind of wrestling is in a sense. Him and a few others had some uh, some big impact on wrestling. So when Sean asked me to play the role halfway through, actually choreography doing the choreography i was like okay great let's let's get this let's do this and i was already familiar with the chic uh mm -hmm. you know a couple of little youtube tests <laughs> i went to youtube a couple of times and saw some matches like oh yeah I, I i i get it i know how to do this and um talking about the the preparing the actors and everything were you just like working with them during like pre-production or also during the the shooting itself everything everything all right Training, pre-production, post-production. Uh, actually, when we were filming the show, I was behind the camera with the director, really trying to get the the wrestling scenes how he wanted. You know, really trying every time we would look and say, "Okay, hold on, this camera is over here playing different." So in this sequence, I'm going to have him face over here instead of facing that way. I'm facing to the right towards that camera. Um, you know, we would tweak it every time we were we were on on set. So I know I know that of course like the director Sean Sean he's a he I was reading about him and he he was a big fan of like wrestling and everything he were out like watching the everything but uh how I mean of course he got to be involved in the in the wrestling scenes but did he knew what he wanted to see or or he was really like depending on you and saying I don't really know how this works or how was the process with him working with him. Did 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 they end up like doing like some storyboarding or was just like how, how was the process of like so Sean was, this? was a fan, absolutely a fan growing up. Um and really was a fan of the Von Erics, and that's how he decided to create and write this movie. Um so yes, he had an idea of what he wanted to see, but that's where I come in. I have to kind of decipher his idea and put it together and try to make it better than he can imagine. 
Do you know what I mean? Does it make sense? That's yeah. my job. That's why that's why I get paid the big bucks. <laughs> because I have to, you know, I come in and um really have to use, you know, all the different little minds. I'm such a OCD guy when it comes to wrestling. I'm always like, okay, the you move this more here and then this camera angle's there and the director wants to do this. So the, uh, you know, getting the the actor to be able to do certain things. It's such a a, a juggling process that um that's where I come in and that's um, where I've been making a name for myself is finding out what the directors want and put it on, on, on screen for them. And then for that, did you like, uh, did you study like the, the original, like uh, wrestlers, their moves, their like uh, their techniques? And I everything? was so familiar with the, the, the Von Erics because I grew up with them being a Texas wrestling family, La Familia Guerrero in Texas, in El Paso, <laughs> Texas. Well, they were in, uh, Von Erichs were in Dallas. So we had a competitive, competitive rivalry. You know, every wrestling family thinks they're the best anyways. Yeah. So we were always like, oh, well, we're better than them. Well, they were always like, we're better than, than the Guerreros. And we would wrestle for their promotion. They would wrestle for our promotion. So I was so familiar with them already. Well, yeah. I knew so much about them. Did I go and brush up on some old YouTube stuff? Absolutely. But I already knew certain, you know, what they, what, their style was and what they were about. You know, I, I, I've been friends with the family my entire life. So, so as I say, you've been doing this, like uh, choreographing and everything like uh, for a while, but how, uh, how complicated, how different is just to do something with the actors or the, the, the stunt people and everything. Just when you, 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 you have them like in a, in the, whatever, like in a gym or whatever, and then to shoot, to shoot it because I mean, of course the, of course the camera yeah. need, needs to make the, the guy who, who directs the camera needs to make a lot of decisions and yeah yeah it's different than training a, a pro wrestler for WrestleMania that's a different story this is training an actor to look like a wrestler in a wrestling scene and keeping them safe and getting the director getting what the director's thoughts are and getting it on camera and and there's so many different aspects to it there's so many different things so when I started in Hollywood. And first, I just I didn't really know what I was going to do. I was going to be a stuntman. What, what was I really going to do? Yeah. And then realizing that I was very specialized when it came to filming any wrestling things because I know both worlds. So um, being able to do what you're saying, it's not training. It's teaching. It's training an actor to get the best out of an actor. It's almost like I'm a, a, um, a acting coach, a uh a, tr a workout trainer, a wrestling trainer. A, there's so many different things. So I always explain to the actors, I go, guys, have you done theater before? Oh yeah, I've done this. Okay, well, you guys know how to wrestle. You just don't know you know yet. They're thinking that it's moves and moves and all this stuff. I said, that, all that stuff helps tell the story, but they're not the story of those moves. So, and when Jeremy Allen White said it best, he was, at, he did a, an interview and he explained that he realized now that the moments in between the moves are sometimes more important than the moves. And I said, absolutely. That's what you do on camera already. A, a dialogue or monologue or something that you're doing in, in a scene. There's words written down, but it's those, they help tell the story, but it's the, the way that you say those words, the pauses in between, the way you work with the other actor, that really tells the scene. That really makes those words come to life. And they, the wrestler, the, Actors, I call them wrestlers, but the actors got it; they understood it. And and then actually, the, the you guys, I mean, the, the 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 real wrestlers, you you guys, of course, get hurt and everything. That, that there, really? there's a lot of like there's a controversy always around in like uh, wrestling, right? I mean, even in the movie, there's a scene with the you seen the movie, right? Absolutely. Uh, uh, Zac Efron's his, uh, his girlfriend, Zac, Billy Zac James, Zac, was talking. Like say Efron's like girlfriend, she say, "Oh, but why are you so concerned if this is not real?" He say, "This is real because, of course, you need to work a lot, and then you get hurt and everything." But the funny thing is, here you're working with actors who are like kind of pretending, but at the same time, I suppose they got hurt too because at least there's a lot of movie magic in the movie. It looks so real, and then you, the original it's wrestling, a real you're wrestling kind of, ring. If they're you're working, kind of, you're kind of actors too, and and that's why you, for example, are oh, you're it's a, an actor too. Real, yeah. It's a real wrestling ring. There's no way around it. It's like saying, so some people say, oh, well, wrestling's fake. Whoa, that's the wrong word. Uh, entertainment, 100%. But fake, like, it's it's like a, a, a 
in a movie, okay, let's say this, these guys, these stuntmen have rehearsed a car crash for a week before they film it, and then they go film a car crash. Be just because they've rehearsed it, it's still a car crash. <laughs> We're still falling to the mat. We're still falling to the ground. We're still yeah. doing all that, all the the stunts involved, and that's that's real. Now, are we trying to win the match? It doesn't that doesn't matter. We're trying to put on a great performance, and that's what professional sports is. All professional sports, once whether it be pro football, pro basketball, UFC, once you make one dollar for a sport. It's not a sport anymore. It's entertainment. And that's, if the money's not there, that sport is not there. It may be at the high school level or the college level, but at the professional level, it's not there. If no one's paying to see the UFC, there is no more UFC. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you talk already about one of the actors. What about like, uh, of course, uh, uh, here, uh, the main story is just Zac Efron because he's so, so popular. Uh, how was working with him in terms of like, uh, First, uh, his availability because I don't know. I, I I read somewhere that he was like available for like training for like uh, seven weeks. Maybe the other actors were available for more time, or how was it? Less time. So that's another aspect in training the actors. These actors are these are a list actors. These guys are very very busy. They're coming off other projects that they're you know you know leaving or just finishing and starting other projects. So they're juggling a bunch of stuff. So it's not like I have six months to just train them. It's just not just my training that that is you know encompassing their life. Really, I have short amount of time. I have a budget that the studio is put is is wanting to keep to. Um, I I have them for a certain amount of time in training, so I have to fit all of that in. It's almost like I'm doing a very very accelerated training process. But at the same yeah. time, I have to keep them safe doing this. So I I. I It's it's very difficult what we're doing. I love it. To me, it's second nature. But for somebody to come in and to try to train a pro wrestler and do it, all right, you have to make these guys look like a pro wrestler. You have to do it in three days. It's almost impossible, but I can do it. <laughs> so usually, I mean, usually, of course, this is like a wrestler is always like a training. But uh, What what will be like a decent amount of time to train a wrestler, like a real wrestler, just in order to make him like be able to go and fight? A professional wrestler, like a real professional wrestler? Yeah, oh, they, yeah. They, they have to train for a minimum of six months to a year to really know what they're doing. Now, they may actually go out and do some matches, practicing and stuff, but but for them to be really good, it takes, you know, it, it will just for, to get them into the ring is, is, is six months to a year, but... To get them to be a good wrestler in the ring, it's years. It's yeah, sure five years. So you have like you, you have the actors here. Here we have like uh, there's like a four different actors. Basically, you have to oh you, you train everyone like the other wrestlers too. How many sure. wrestlers do you? I train every single one of the actors, and then I would have to get them with the other uh, the co-stars, the co-actors that are in the yeah. scene, and who who if I could could have a wrestler, it'd be perfect because then I could kind of teach the wrestler who already knows wrestling how to work in a in on film and then teach the actor how to wrestle so i would marry them together uh but you know a lot of times i had two actors wrestling so when that happens you know there's it's i can't give away all my secrets but there's a lot <laughs> yeah i'm trying to i'm thinking wrestling. too much <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things in there i mean i could tell you all day long you just you're not going to be able to do it but There's a lot of oh, secrets. Yeah, yeah. No, a lot of Guerrero is a lot of secrets that's been passed down to me from my grandfather, Gordy Guerrero, my, Gordy. my father, Chavo Guerrero Sr., yeah. Eddie Guerrero, my my grandma's yeah. family who are all rushed to the La Familia Yanez. Uh, all of them, yeah. So there's a lot of little secrets that I have. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. And then, but well, you, you have to start like suppose like individually but with, with these guys and then just, as you say, just like together because of course there's like big i mean most of the scenes in the movie are just they're all together but uh you have you to start think, just you, you, you have to start like individually that. and say oh okay this guy got it this guy oh he needs more work maybe i mean yeah sometimes it's not like that you, you you're under time constraint under budget so yeah in a perfect world but there's never a perfect world there's always something coming up At, actor gets hurt actors uh has a death in the family he can't train yeah so it's my job To get them on camera and make them look like wrestlers with little to no training. 
So going back a little bit to Saka, from, uh, he's just interesting, his character, because we know and we see it in the movie. There's a lot of these wrestlers. As I say, there's there's a lot of like, a, a, you need to have like a for, perform, performing talent. I mean, you're, you're kind of an actor too, because he's one into, into 10 people. So some of these wrestlers act like very rude or they're just like kind of trying to be intentionally mean. But he was, it seems that he is, well, he's still alive. So the real guy was uh, always nice. And he was just like, he was like a low profile and everything. How was that kind of integrated to the fighting style or not? Or was that a completely separate thing? No, it is. I mean, but look, my job is to train the wrestlers. My job is not to teach them how to act. Yes, sure. that, Zac Efron on his own, Jeremy Allen White on their own. You know, they can ask me for help or um, if something looks good, do you think he'd do this? Or do you think the real wrestler would do this? So I'll give an opinion. But this is, that's the 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 talent of these actors. They're, they're, they are where they are because of their talent. And they're able to bring out, I mean, I can teach them all they want, but I can't get on camera and act for them. Yeah. These, these actors are, are imitating and portraying these real life people on their own because that's how good these actors are. Yeah. So Zach, I mean, he was already like in in, in great shape. We, we know that he's always in great shape, but but he's not twenty five anymore. Was was any concern? Did he have Did he have any concerns while he was training with you? Oh, I'm going to be able to do this right. Was he saying? Maybe I'm over every actor, over every scene, whether they're. 25 whether they're 85 and there's always a concern because it's pro wrestling i don't yeah. care who you are i don't care what kind of shape you're in i've seen world-class athletes olympians come into pro wrestling and not be able to do it so there's always concern yeah yeah i read that the uh, some people are already like uh very happy with your work uh uh some of the the the, the people related to the von erich brothers and everything uh they're like uh even like even like even like uh Kevin, right? Kevin on average uh um uh, it's he say that you did a great job. I suppose that's that's very good for you. Well that's a if I get a, a prop like that from from the real life people then I'm I'm doing my job right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um as I say, of course, as you say, uh, you are you were in charge not of directing the actors. We were in charge of like training them and making them look good as wrestlers. But you see the movie, so you know the movie deals with a lot of like uh, family issues, right? That are like related to like a wrestling family. I mean, like like masculinity in the modern world, the, the way some parents push their kids in order to to do something that could be dangerous. I mean, the level of compromise and, and, and really hard work that comes with this kind of physical job that can be like brutal to the body, right? And of course, uh, the chance that somebody that is around you and that is close to you might, might die. How, how like close do you feel with that story of how emotional it was for you to, to be like part of it? I mean, uh, because we know your uncle Eddie, right? Unfortunately, he passed away when he was very young. So, what kind of connection did you feel with the story besides the fighting sequences? Um, well, I was very close to this family, so I knew their their tragedies even way beyond before our our anything happened to our family. So it was absolutely close to your heart. But any wrestling family, any wrestling family, there's no other families in the world. Uh, I could tell you all about wrestling all day long, but unless you've been in a wrestling family, you you can't you don't you don't know what it what it's like to be in one. And I know what it's like to be in one. I know even though I didn't have the tragedies as much as that family, I I was there. I saw it. I remember this going on. So it's very close to me, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And um, there's so like uh, how how do you feel with this being part? It's interesting because I, I'm not completely familiar with like wrestling, so I didn't know there was so many families, so many families devoted to this, right? And then in the movie, the movie shows you. I mean, it's not like necessarily that somebody's just like forcing you to do it. It's just like you want to do it. It's just like when you're in 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 any profession. I mean, there's tragedies and everything, right? But it's just like you want to follow the step of of your 
of your father. You want to follow the steps of your uncle. You want to follow the steps of your of your granddad. And then at the same time, you're competing with each other. And at the same time, people will like compare you with the other guys. But uh, how complicated is that? Because people might see, oh, this is wrestling. This is just like, this is not so like transcendent, but it is. And there's a lot of drama inside. There's a lot of like, it's very, very intense. Yeah, well, it definitely is, you know, um, it's like with any, any family business, whether you're a police officer, whether you're in the military, whether you're a lawyer, if you're fa you're following that, that business, there's a lot of steps and a lot of things that the common person that's not in that business can't understand and can't know. It's no difference between this, this business, the same thing. Yeah. Probably more so. Um, what is next for you just to to to, to finish i mean um uh, i read that you 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 think that yeah of, of course los guerreros deserve a movie too and then uh, probably uh, like a, or a tv show or something that just to tell the whole story are you like really interested in doing something like that well first thing first is we're going to do the the is this this movie is the iron claw oh. movie with the von eric family and then um you know this movie is an incredible movie and the success of this movie is going to be great and then we'll see about the Guerrero, about Guerrero movie. But, you know, very first thing is the Iron Claw in theaters tomorrow, December 22nd. All right. Yes. Thank you very much. Chavo. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Y que estés muy bien. Que tengas un buen resto del día, man. Gracias a ti. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.